Hey friends, sorry I'm out today. Um, thanks for watching my pre-recorded live lesson that's not actually live today. Um, so let's log in, um, go ahead and see what we're doing today and jump right in and get started. So let's see. Um, so today is Friday, praise the Lord. Um, so I'm not here today, I'm spending some time with my family. Um, we're having a little pre-Thanksgiving with my cousin that um, just got home from Kuwait. So let's see. So today is Friday. Um, sorry, that's Miss Bryson trying to bother me while I record. Um, so we're starting with our live video, um, which I'll have posted right here um, for unique learning today. I guess I should have brought my planner. I didn't think about this. Um, so for unique learning, we are finishing up our chapter that we read yesterday and answering the comprehension questions. So make sure you answer and complete those. For both of your PCI 1 and 2, we are finishing up the books that you've been reading this week and um, you have your quiz on that. So make sure you complete that. Um, for that ELA, that third group, if you're in that group, you are reading chapter 11 of Dragon Wings, I believe. Um, so you're gonna make sure you want to read that. Um, next week, we're finishing that book up. So you don't wanna make sure, or you want to make sure you're not missing chapter 11 today. Sorry guys, my computer's going crazy. Um, and then for news to you, we're finishing up our new African American Music Museum article today. Um, so you don't want to miss that. Um, make sure you finish that. You know, it's Friday, so we got to wrap our things up for the week. Um, and next week, I promise we're going to have a fun week. 1020 today, Miss Bryson's going live. You know, we've been working on money for Unique. So um, make sure you complete your Unique learning assignment. And like always, your Explore Math video. Um, since it's Friday, it's a vocational or life skills video for Miss Bryson. So that should be uploaded around 11, 1130. So be on the lookout for that and our daily exit ticket, like always. Um, if anyone has any questions, Miss Bryson's at school. Um, well, actually, Miss Bryson's not at school today either. Um, she's able to answer any questions. Um, I'm available via email. Um, we're here to help you any way we can. So let's jump right into our unique learning. So like I said, we are um, working on, we're finishing up chapter five of Ancient China and the Wheelbarrow today. Um, so our goal is that we're gonna be able to answer questions and use support from the text to explain main ideas, details, and inferences from a story. Um, and so yesterday we talked about how the wheelbarrow was a big part in um, building the Great Wall of China and how it was super long. If I remember correctly, it was um, 5,500 miles long. And so we're gonna watch this short video, um, just giving us some more details on the Great Wall of China. So it's a great visual for us because something so large for me is um, definitely something I had to see so I can comprehend it. Cause you know, it's just not like anything I've ever seen before. So we're gonna watch this before we jump into our chapter. if it wants to learn. Mm -hmm. One of the most recognizable symbols of China, the Great Wall of China has a long and complicated history. It is not just one wall, but many different walls and fortifications that were built over the course of thousands of years. The walls built at different times were often built with different materials, everything from packed dirt or wood to stone and brick. These walls were meant to protect China from invasion. The earliest walls were built more than 2,000 years ago when individual states built walls of packed earth and gravel between boards to protect their territories from attackers with swords and spears. Hundreds of years later, in 221 BC, the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, ordered the walls that divided his empire should be destroyed and a new wall connecting the remaining pieces should be built, creating fortifications that protected the empire from northern attackers. No one knows exactly how long that wall was or where it was built, as most of it has worn down or been destroyed. Over the next thousand years, different ruling dynasties repaired, rebuilt, 
or expanded sections of the wall. The leaders of the Ming Dynasty, which began in 1368, constructed the most famous version of the Great Wall. They began by building watchtowers and garrisons, later adding walls of stone and earth. New construction on the wall ended in 1644. At its height, the Great Wall stretched more than 13,000 miles or about 22,000 kilometers in total length, making it the longest structure ever built by humans. In some places, the walls were 30 feet or nine meters thick and 25 feet or 7.5 meters tall, and it was studded with as many as 25,000 watchtowers. You may have heard that the Great Wall is so big that it can be seen from space, but that is only partially true. It cannot be seen at all from the moon, but from a much closer orbit, it could be seen by someone who knew exactly where to look and what it would look like. Today, the Great Wall of China is a World Heritage Site, protected and maintained for all of humanity to enjoy. Only some pieces of the wall are taken care of, however as it is simply too big and too damaged by time and old battles to repair and take care of it all. In fact, nearly one third of the wall has completely disappeared, fallen down and even the stones taken away by local people to use in building. Still, the Great Wall is the most popular place for tourists to visit in China, attracting millions of people each year. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Great Wall of China today. Goodbye till next time. Wow, I had never realized how much of the Great Wall of China was disintegrated or gone. I thought it was kind of all still there. Um, learn something new every day, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and um, jump into our book and then we will answer a few of the comprehension questions together. Um, to help you guys out when you answer the rest on your own. So here we go. We're gonna read through it kind of quickly since we went and we read it more in depth yesterday. Chapter five, Ancient China and the Wheelbarrow. At the next display, there is a picture of a large wall going across mountains. It looks like the wall goes on and on and never ends. In front of the display sits an old wooden cart with a wheel. Dr. Jones asks if anyone knows what it is. Um, so like we talked about, this wheelbarrow from ancient China looks a lot different than the ones we see today. But by definition, um, you know, we talked about yesterday, a wheelbarrow, being a little slow, a wheelbarrow is a cart with one wheel and handles to move supplies. So when we look at this picture, it has one wheel and handles, so it is a wheelbarrow. My mom uses that while she is gardening, says Keisha. That is a wheelbarrow. That's right. This is a wheelbarrow says Dr. Jones. It's very old, but not the first to be made. The wheelbarrow was made in ancient China around 2,100 years ago. So ancient China um, was the first people to build the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is a cart with one front wheel and two handles for a person to push, explains Dr. Jones. It was used in China to help farmers carry food to sell in towns. It was also used by soldiers to carry food and supplies. Um, so it's important to note, this is um, going to be one of your comprehension questions that I'm going to ask. Um, it was used in China to help farmers carry food to sell in towns as well as it was used by soldiers to carry food and supplies. So farmers and soldiers used the wheelbarrows. A wheelbarrow can hold a large amount of weight. This was very important in the building of the Great Wall of China, says Dr. Jones. 
Is that a really tall wall? Asks Mary Beth. No, the Great Wall of China is very long. It is 5,500 miles long. It was built to protect the people of China, says Dr. Jones. It took over 1,000 years to build. Um, so um, this says it's 500 or 5,500 miles long. The video said it was not that long. Um, so I'm not really sure which is true. Uh, but either way, it's really long and took over 1,000 years to build. So a long, long time. The wheelbarrow helped the workers carry supplies to build the wall. The Great Wall of China was built out of mud, stones, and bricks. Using the wheelbarrow helped them build the wall much faster, says Dr. Jones. So imagine having to carry all of these bricks to build that huge wall. So the wheelbarrow was such a big help because they didn't have to carry it on their backs or with their hands. They were able to push it or pull it with the wheelbarrow. Um, so that was such um, a great invention, a big help when building the wall of China. So the wheelbarrow was a positive change for ancient China and it helps us today too. I have seen many different workers use wheelbarrows to move supplies around, says Chad. People use wheelbarrows to work in their gardens, says Keisha. Yes, that's for sure. Now, on to the last display, says Dr. Jones. And so like you guys said yesterday, you had so many different examples of how you use wheelbarrows today. You guys obviously are very familiar with this invention. So let's jump over and do a couple of the comprehension questions um, before you break off into your independent groups. Just over here. All right. So in front of the window display sits an old wooden cart with a, so they're talking about the wheelbarrow. So that old wooden cart has a handles and a wheel. Number two, the wheelbarrow has two blank for a person to push. So remember our definition, a wheelbarrow has a wheel and two handles. Very good. Number three, the wheelbarrow was used by blank to carry food and supplies. Remember, I told you I was gonna ask you about this. Who used the wheelbarrow in ancient China? Farmers and... soldiers. The next one, a wheelbarrow can hold a large amount of, imagine those big stones, it can hold a large amount of weight. And then lastly, number five, the Great Wall of China was built to protect the blank of China. It was built to protect the people. So thank you guys for watching my video today. Um, go ahead and log into Unique Learning and complete your comprehension questions because there's a lot more questions that we did not go over today. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much.